What's up, friends? Welcome back to the channel. I am Cher, and I just now got my Allure Beauty Box in the mail. I've been waiting on it, so if you want to see what all we got in the Allure Box, a lot of you guys already know from the spoilers, of course, and have started getting your boxes too, but still, if you want to see my raw reaction as I open it, then stick around and we'll hop right on it. All right, guys, welcome. I am Cher. I cover Allure Beauty Box a lot. I love to do the spoilers, the unboxings, the try-ons, reviews on a lot of the popular beauty boxes, and Allure is my favorite. Now, I feel like for this month, for July, it seemed like this box may have been, correct me if I'm wrong here, but just my perception from what I've seen in the comments and seen of a lot of folks out there, it's like love it or hate it on this box. You either hate it and it was the worst or you love it. I don't know. That's from what I've seen out here. I'm one of those folks that I'm excited about some of the things in here. I thought it was a pretty good one. However, I have had a sneak peek at the sizes. So we're going to talk about that. It does seem like everything was looking like pretty small sizes. So what I really want to do is break down the price value on these smaller sizes. Let's figure out what these sizes are and let's see what the retail value is versus what we're paying for. Is it still worth it? Now I know there's a couple of very luxury items in here that even at a small price is gonna be pricey and good. So think about that too. Um, but yeah, so we'll talk about that. So anyway, let's start digging in and see what we got. Uh, I like this, we've got uh, red, white, and blue allure here, our little um, brochure just telling us different things in the box and other boxes we might subscribe to and a little bit about each of the items. So very good. Oh, this actually tells us the retail price in here. So I just need to double check that these are the retail prices for this actual size though, and not for the full, full, full size. So we've talked about this before that, um, Allure does guarantee you three full size items in the box. And then the rest would be just, you know, sometimes it can be more than that full sizes, but they guarantee at least three. But when they say full size, they don't always mean the full list size. They just mean not a sample size or deluxe size. So to clarify on that. So yeah, so everything does look, it does look a little small. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's dig in though. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. First up is that Tula Skin Care Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. This is another one I'm hearing a few mixed reviews on from you guys. A lot of you love this, and I'm really excited to get it because I love Tula. I really do. Um, and I love the idea of this. Oh, wow. Look at that top. Interesting. So what do you do with the top? Oh, oh okay. You can pop it off and put it back on, I guess, to protect it. Very nice, I'm glad they do that. But it does come up like that, and then you can swipe it, you know, under the eyes. One of you guys mentioned that you keep this in your refrigerator. What a fantastic idea, keeping it cold. And you know, sometimes people have beauty fridges for that reason to keep products cold because, you know, it is a cooling and brightening eye balm. So, you know, cooling kind of helps with swelling and stuff sometimes. If you know, we got the puffy eyes and whatnot. So that is a fantastic idea. I might try that out. So I just wanted to give you credit if you're watching <laughs> um, that that was a really good idea. Anyway, so I'm happy to have it. I think I heard a few of you that weren't crazy about Tula. So um, I need to look into uh, some of the reviews out there too on this. But I am excited to try it. And I love the other Tula products that I have. I do want to show you the difference between a full, full size of Tula versus this. Now, this is an eye balm though. So this probably is the full size of it because an eye product is usually small. Um, but that does kind of give you a feel for the difference in the products we're getting in this box. Like this is a full, full size product versus these. So it is just, it's, I don't think that any of these are like true sample sizes, to be honest with you. A lot of them are probably in the fullest size of its product, if that makes sense. Like the Tula comes as an eye balm, so it's not gonna be any bigger than this. It's an eye product. The perfume oil, which we'll talk about in a minute, 
it's a perfume oil, so it's not gonna be any bigger than this either. That's kind of the fullest size of a perfume oil. So I think it's that some of the products that were picked, they are truly the full size version of them. It's just, it happens to be all like smaller products this time. It would have been nice if they had thrown in a really big full size one like this, just to not make us feel like it's all small. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's part of what this is. Okay, and then also this says, the sheet here is talking about this product and it does say that it is retailing for $38 for this particular size, the 0.35 ounces. Okay, so right there, $38 just for this product. Our boxes cost 25. So you've paid for the box, you've more than paid for the box there. So yes, I think it's still worth it. Then we'll talk about the perfume since I already mentioned it and I was dying to try this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a spin. Um, I wasn't sure based on the notes. It is a dark rum and I did see a comment. Someone had already tried it and was telling me, let it sit for a few minutes and see what you think. So I will go ahead and do like a first sniff test and then we'll let it sit and then I'll come back and share what I think after it's, if it has time to like dry down what my thoughts are as it lingers. So this is the Malin and Getz um, Dark Rum Perfume Oil. And here is what it looks like in person. So these are usually gonna be roll-ons and it is, oh, wow. I actually really like it, y'all. I do, from, from just sniffing it there. Oh yes, gosh, that's so much more summery than I thought. I immediately smell that like, I guess it's rum, but I smell like pineapple immediately. Yes. And I almost smell like, like it almost had like a pineapple suntan lotion smell to me on first sniff. It's actually quite faint. It's not super loud. I was worried from the notes. I can't remember what the notes were in this, but when I was reading them from um, the site. Let's see if the brochure has them. I don't think it does. I mean, I knew it was going to have rum, which sounded great. It's notes of rum and ripe plum, but I know there was something in it like patchouli. Was it patchouli or was it, it was something that might have had more of a leathery note. I can't remember now. And so I was worried. Like, I don't know if I'm going to like that or not, but I'm definitely a tropical summer girl. And this is leaning so much more like tropical to me. I mean, it's not full blown, just fruity, fruity, there is some kind of undernote that, the undernote almost reminds me though of like, now it's starting to turn a little more into like a powdery sunscreen smell. That's the best way I know how to describe it, but so different from what I was expecting. I actually like it. It's not deep and, you know, harsh and leathery is the best way I know how to describe it. It's, it's lighter to me than I thought. Could almost be, unisex maybe yeah I actually I I'm, I'm liking it so I'm gonna let it sit for a little while and I'll come back and let you guys know what I think I was dying to try this so I'm excited about that and I do get a little more of a a summer vibe from it now this one retails for $36 in the nine milliliters so yes it is this one so again this one alone also pays for the box $36 versus 25 all right, the next thing we got was the Better Not Younger Wake Up Call Volumizing Conditioner. From what I'm seeing and hearing from you guys, I think it was what they traded out on people's boxes were the hair products and the lotion. Um, I think it, it might have been an either or kind of thing because they presented us with like seven or eight products for July, which was more than we usually get in the box. So I think that like two or three of those products were like a the ones they were gonna rotate between people's boxes is what I'm guessing because not everybody got the same thing when it came to either the hair products or the lotion. Um, so it looks like I did get one of the hair products, so it's gonna be the volumizing conditioner. So I'm glad about that. I I wanted to try it out, but it is in this tiny little bottle. I will go through that conditioner so fast. I definitely will. Hair products is something I go through fast. So in this deluxe size, this has definitely gotta be a deluxe size. I'm gonna go through that. <clears throat> um, this one retails for $37 and this is six ounces, no. Okay, so yeah, we have the two ounce, okay. Yeah, they're, they're fooling us here. 
We have the two ounce in here, but the six ounce one is $37. All right, this is what I was the most excited of all for and why I was like, ah, feeling like it was a good box in my opinion. But like I said, it's been, I've heard a lot of folks not happy with this box. So I might be alone in this camp, but I, I, I'm excited about this. It is pretty small though. This is the Touche Eclat. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Blur Primer. I've been dying to try it. I'm a YSL girl, so this excites me so much. Here is what it looks like. I love the little like, gold sparkles in it but I'm a little confused it has like a, a doe foot idea in there huh. I guess you spread it on with the more spatula like feel and then spread it oh my gosh it feels so good it is like silk on the skin I can tell I'm gonna love this I can tell this is going to be a favorite primer already. Holy moly. Now, I don't see any speckles actually on the skin though, but like in the container, it looks kind of like there's gold speckles, if you can see that. But oh my goodness, I am so excited about that. It has a little uh, smell to it too, like a perfume smell. Okay, this one, this is definitely a, a deluxe also. It's 10 milliliters. So it's 56 for the 30 milliliters. So this must be a deluxe also. Oh, if this had been a full size, let me tell you. This is tiny. It won't last me very long, but I can tell already that I love it. Oh my gosh. Another one I was so excited to get is the Biro Golden Carrot Overnight Relief Mask. However, <laughs> look at the size on this. I, I mean... I don't go through masks very fast, but like, this is tiny. I might get, I don't know. You think we'll get like four uses out of it, maybe? <laughs> but Biro is so good. I was dying for the Biro. Um, yeah, this is 0.33 ounces, and they're giving us the full-size price again. 142 for 65 milliliters, but that's definitely um, the full-size. Okay, so it's 10 milliliters, so tiny tiny happy to have it but tiny um let's look at the texture real quick okay and it's just like a fairly clear it doesn't even feel like a mask to me it feels almost like a cleanser very hydrating uh very thin though so gosh that's that's actually a perfect mask for me I don't like to do a lot of skincare masks because I don't like the really tightening feel of some of them but this feels so lightweight and like silky <sighs> I love Biro so much I just wish this had been in a full size okay so I think this is going to be our other full size product here this is Flan Flannery Water Lily PHA it is a pore refining exfoliator I don't know if this is going to be my skin type um and I remember when I was doing the spoilers, I feel like there might be a size bigger than this though too, maybe, because I remember seeing like more of a glass container of it or plastic, but you know, it was in like more of a, a different style of container that looked bigger. Um, but I think this is a bigger, this is probably the full size pick, I'm sure. Let's see what the texture on this one looks like. Okay, yeah, it has very, it has, a slight grittiness. It's not like overpoweringly gritty. Like the whole thing isn't just all grit. Like some of those exfoliators are. It's like a smooth, almost cleanser-like feel, but then with a couple of little things of grit in it. It actually feels pretty smoothing and nice and lightweight on my skin too. I might end up liking it. It might actually be okay for my skin type. I'll have to look that up and make sure. All right. Whoops, I almost forgot to give my later review on the perfume. Let's see how it has been sitting and dried down and what we think now. Mm -hmm. I'm smelling a little more of those, you know, um, uh, more base notes now. And it, it, the best way to describe it is almost a little bit of like a powder scent to it, but I'm still picking up on a little bit of the rum that pineapple that I first smelled, but mostly I'm smelling more of the, the base that are kind of like a, 
a rum powder is the best way I know how to describe it. If Does that make sense? Like a rum powder is what I'm smelling. Not bad though, not bad. I, I do actually really still, I like it. I don't think it's too crazy and heavy. I don't think it's too like deep and leathery. Um, you know, it's not like just total like fruity. It's not ultra fruity, but it's like, I definitely did pick up on that like pineapple. It has kind of a light but powdery scent now. The best way not to describe it. So yeah, I ended up liking it. So I'm so glad. And I had really been wanting to try the Malin and Getz one since I do like that brand. So that's exciting. Let me know your thoughts on the perfume. I'd love to hear if you like it or hate it. <laughs> so I think that's everything. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I am super happy with the mix of things in here. Like the items themselves in what we got. I'm so excited about that primer. I'm really excited about the Tula. So excited about the Biro. I like the perfume. So I'm personally very happy with the mix we got. It just, I know though, like the sizes, I mean, I would have loved this so much more had YSL been full size and had Biro been full size. But it still is, when you think about the retail value on a couple of these products alone, it is worth even more than what the box is worth. So it's still really great value, really worth subscription in my opinion. But I do know that everything looks really small. It does. It looks small. It it doesn't look like we're getting much. But I think we really are, you know, retail value-wise when you add it up. And then the mix of the things. I'm really happy about it. I'm excited. Um, but I understand those of you who are not. And I think there's a lot of folks, too, that are just getting really tired of skincare and hair. And they're ready to see some makeup or just a little bit of other variety. Um, so... I get that too. I think Allure is definitely a lot more your skincare box. Um, lots of quality skincare too. So um, that's just kind of something you tend to know with Allure. They're very skincare heavy. And they put hair in here too. Now the only thing is also, besides the sizes, I am disappointed I didn't get the lotion because I love the lotion that I do have. I think we were going to get like a rose. Was it a rose scent? Um, so some of you got that though, I think, and some of you didn't either. And some folks wanted the hair and they didn't get it. I think it's just, that's the one thing I think that might've been the, not really bonus item, but like something they switched out between our boxes probably. Um, but anyway, that's everything. Let me know if you're happy with your box or not. <laughs> and, um, I don't think I'm going to do a try on video because there's not really like makeup to try on. Um, be looking though for my shorts. Sometimes I do reviews there. Definitely bring an empties video every month. Um, so you'll probably see some of these products show up there too. And I give my review on them. And um, yeah, if you love more Allure, you'll want to stick around for the spoilers for next month. It's usually towards the end of the month though that they drop them and um, other popular beauty boxes as well. And a lot of other beauty that we do here too. You'll want to stay tuned. Pop that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.